The beauty of the Highview system is it uses proven technology in its individual components but put together in a, a novel system which uh, functions as an electricity store. We, we start with the cryogen in this insulated tank and uh, we then pump it to high pressure in these uh, pumps here. So we've got cryogen now at a thousand pounds per square inch. It's still in liquid form and very cold. When this is operational this will be at about minus 200 degrees C and it goes into our container here. And here we are at the cold end of our power recovery system. As you can see, it fits into a normal uh, transportable container which fits onto the back of a truck. So one of the other great advantages of our system is that it's transportable. You can put it onto a lorry and take it to, uh, take it to a site and just hook it up on the site. So this evaporator turns it into a gas but it's still very cold and so what we're doing in the rest of this system here is gradually putting more and more heat into it until eventually we get a high pressure gas at room temperature. And where does that heat come from? So on the other side of the container here we've got a system which pumps glycol and water which is basically antifreeze around our system and putting heat into the, into the heat exchanger. So this is our medium for transporting heat around the system. Where is the glycol getting its heat from? Okay, so the power station just happens to have a local steam distribution main and we can use that steam to put heat into our system. And then the steam comes into this heat exchanger right here and transfers its heat into the glycol. Here's our high pressure, thousand pound per square inch gas now. It comes through the control valve which controls the power output. And there are four turbines here going from small with high pressure, gradually getting larger and larger until the, uh, you get to the final stage, which is just behind the gearbox there, at uh, its lowest pressure. And when the gas goes through the turbine, it goes in at ambient temperature, but it drops in temperature as it gives up its power to the turbine. And after each stage, we bring the gas back out to a heat exchanger to warm it back up and then back into the next stage, which feeds its power along the shaft to our generator. So the power comes out of our power distribution board and into the local substation which the local electricity company have installed for us here and it, uh, here the power gets stepped up to 11,000 volts and it comes out of this red cable and away into the grid. <laughs> Thank you.